It's Sunday morning here in Sweden, uh, right before seven o'clock. I was rushing to work because I know I had a cool looking battery to disassemble that I got from a bike store yesterday. And this Bosch power tube. So it must be an in-frame battery and a really huge frame. For this one to be actually in the frame. It has the classic Bosch uh, connector and an indicator here, which is not good. It's working two pins. And here is screw threads. But it's flashing two pins, there is something wrong with it. And that's why I got it so cheap. And here is some kind of... This one is loose, but it's connected to the rest of the plastic. So it's not like a handle. Let's see if they have the same screw setup as Shimano does. Only two screws holding this one in place, but they're placed uh, so good central here, so probably don't need more. But I don't think this is the actual lid. This is some kind of, yeah, some kind of plastic lock. Yeah, there is a, a locking something to hold it. Oh, and there's a spring. <laughs> now where did this supposed to be? Yeah, this is not something I'm gonna refurbish anyway. Yeah, something I bought to have a look inside. What have Bosch been up to? Most likely there is some silicone or something also holding it in place. You can see a rubber list. Maybe you can push the whole battery out this way. Yes, you can do that. But I wanna open this side up too, because it is connected to the charging, this charging port. So I don't wanna pull it out and break anything. And you're using your trusty speckle spider, which is good for everything. There's no electrical connectors here, so this one it should be able. Ooh, what a rubble list! They are not kidding around. <laughs> wow, now that's a tight seal. And here you have another layer of Eva foam, and these are where the screws for connect now. Those are just pins to hold it in place. What, a in <laughs> what an interesting design. And I can see uh, red heating tubing, so I'm guessing Sandy GA. I think it's the rubber list holding it in place. But there's also this that I do not want to break. Is it just like a sticker here? Yes, it's a sticker with a circuit inside of it. And Mr. Block. And you just push it. Yeah, there you can see rubber list. And it's gonna be packed so tight. But I think it's just push all the way through. Oh. It's like a motherfucking spaceship. Or one of these, those tunnel robots that Elon Musk is building. Look at that. There's a zero percent chance that we will take this in for repair. They have spot welded these tabs, this flat, and it's not just um, single lines you can see there are lots of electronics or like soldering points attached into this it's like super complex they're using some kind of fucked up system yes they're using just four rows so they have to have like uh, the promo of a config or something no fucking way we will ever take them in and even Bosch makes mistakes look look at this look at this it's so crammed for space down here so both of them have been it's almost like a short circuit. So not even when you're over engineer crap like this, you will get a good battery. Even Bosch makes mistakes in their most overpriced 
designs. And I don't think someone has opened this before. This is a factory mistake and it might be the mistake that is holding it back from working. No? Still the same error code, so most likely it has to do with any cell. But this is not good. Even Bosch makes mistakes. And here we have BMZ. No, we're not gonna look at that crap. But they might be the manufacturer of this battery pack. They, those wires are supposed to go a little bit deeper down here, but someone has not pushed them down all the way because these can't be built by robots. These ones must be built partly by a, someone. And most likely these screws are holding the pack together. And these are from the battery. Yes, these are from the battery to the BMS. So we can actually check the voltage. Yeah, one of these wires are most likely in contact with this aluminium case, so... Nicht gut! Nicht gut! And the voltage is 31.89. Can we measure some cells? Yes, we can measure all cells. <laughs> but if, if you know the calm thing, because these are supposed to be measurable. So it's probably not unbalanced. 12. Yeah, it's this strange config, we won't be able to do much good. Those were not even spot welded. We're spot welded on this side. We're not a cell, 3.92, so no unbalance. We can measure individual cells, but cell groups, but maybe not the whole pack because it's such a weird config. So replacing the cells in this monstrosity of a battery won't even do anything good. There's something wrong with um, the electronics. Let's uh, try to it up. Maybe it's just hungry. So a new original Bosch Gladder. I don't know if that's charging of that error. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it charging for a while and see if something happens. Also measure the voltage while charging. 31.88, so I don't think it's charging, but it can stay like that for a while. What are we gonna do with this battery? Oh, cool, cool. Uh, they have some kind of uh, filter, what you should call it. I don't know if it's a pressure seal or if it's a water seal that if water gets in, it can come out through this foam and exit here, but it cannot enter through here or it's just a um, pressure valve because it's airtight. And as you know, cells expand a little bit uh, when they are fully charged and everything contracts and expands uh, at different temperatures. So building a perfectly watertight battery would require some kind of pressure vent. Really cool battery, but impossible to repair one would be insane to even try to even start like I can do this this looks easy no way no way Jose so I'm gonna do another disassembly of this Bosch power tube uh, I'm gonna try and save this to GA cells Uh, because I tried charging it and now it's just flashing error mode so it's gonna drain the batteries if it keeps on doing that because it doesn't want to shut up yes I'm talking to you oh such a messy messy shit yeah I'm gonna try and cut the power to the top part before we go on yeah but I really don't like them being so close together so and the main power is connected to the PCB. And I like this armor suit <laughs> they're wearing. So they don't get cold in the battery. Wonk. We're gonna go ahead and do these lines as well. So that the individual blocks are not connected by any wires. These wires almost ha also have this armor. So did not get killed. Ah, this plate fell off. Here we have, oh, nice. This is some kind of rubbery thing, thermal. There you can see the config. Four positive, four negatives, and then two additional ones. 
is to promote a conflict that I call it. But here is some um, like charcoal or something that has been burned. Oh yes, and another one of these. What a complex design. And I have a little bit of Eva foam keeping this one in place. We should be able to yank it out now. So this super micro components, this is just ah oh, simply impossible to work with. Even with the microscope. Since these are actually live, you cannot do any mistakes. But no! I can actually disconnect that piece of crap. It's not a piece of crap. <laughs> no way! <laughs> they are using bike spokes! <laughs> what? They're using bike spokes! Is it genius or just evil? <laughs> oh, that, that was not what I had been expecting from you. I do this so that you don't have to open your battery and uh, see that, oh, this is impossible. Indicator, two thick wires and three additional wires, just like before. Oh, those one came off pretty easy. And they actually have stuff printed on the FLT. Seems like small resistors. How are they connected here? They're just pushed inside a groove. Yes, hope, yes! And this might actually be one of the problems with, if you have this down tube. Because these are, they have dual connector but they've never seen anything tear off this quickly. Yeah, this one they spot welder, but it's plastic under, so it didn't connect to anything. And this one actually seems a little sturdier than the other GST cables. Oh my yes. Because you do not want to tear this. Because I believe if you tear this, then God will take your soul. Ah, or you will have a fire. 50-50 chance. <laughs> Such a cool ribbon use this as a headband to the Elon Musk party. They are using these rubber pads as separators as well so you do not want them falling out until you and here here they have super thin connectors so I'm gonna save a little GA cells from the evil Germans it's really interesting to see how these uh, high-end battery packs are built. Usually you learn something when opening battery packs. Uh, when opening German battery packs you know what not to do. <laughs> and not to do is have this overcomplicated design that fails preemptively. And so complex that they can't even figure out how it works and look. Just one millimeter from a, from a short circuit. I will not disassemble this more because I have employees that do do just that. And I know it's not usually worth the time disassembling stuff like this. Uh, but I learned so much from this. This is how I get good at batteries, seeing what other people do. That's it for this video. I don't think I have any battery left. <laughs> 